How much of a hit did my freelance income take while I was on vacation? I'm learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? You know, this last month was a little bit of an experiment for me because I was going to take two weeks off to go out to the Midwest with my son so that he could get set up for a, a job, help him with an apart, find an apartment, get a car, get some furniture, things like that. So I kind of knew I was going to be strapped for time. I also wanted to spend time with him before he actually moved away. Uh, but I knew I knew that it was going to be tough on my freelance income. And I, as I told you last month, what I tried to do is I tried to schedule things so that I wouldn't take too much of a hit on my income because I wasn't going to be doing as much work, plain and simple, plain and simple. I did a lot of work before I left, scheduled a lot of things before I left. And then what I was doing while I was on vacation was I was getting up real early, doing some work. What I was also doing is we'd have some downtime. Whenever it was downtime, I'd do a little bit more work, you know. And uh, the results are in. Uh, I thought I'd just explain them to you. My goal is to have a certain monthly income. That's very important. You've got to have a goal so you know how your, your freelance is going. And then I break that down into a weekly goal. And I don't worry too much about hitting every week. I just try to keep my eye on the month. Because sometimes, you know, money gets slopped over and sometimes you don't get the payment on time and whatnot. So you, a week is a little too short of a time period to be worried about. But having said that, for the two weeks I was out in Wisconsin, my income did go down about 20%. So I took a bit of, I took a bit of a hit. You know, we're freelancers. We don't get vacation pay. You know, uh, it's one of the advantages to working for somebody else. You're making them rich, but they're going to give you your pay for two weeks while you sit on the beach. And then you go back and you make them rich again. You know, it's a trade-off. Security, fine. But uh, we don't have that luxury. That's one thing we've given up by being in the freelance economy. So I took about a 20% hit on my income. And the reason why I, wait, I waited a couple weeks to tell you this is because uh, one of the ways that I build a little income while I'm on vacation, as you know, is I keep track of places we go. And then when I come home, I write reviews on them for a website called Hub Pages. It doesn't pay a lot of money. It doesn't pay a lot of money. You get a little bit of affiliate income if somebody clicks on an ad on, on the site and buys something. Uh, and I get a little bit of coin for the number of... Uh, how much traffic it gets. But otherwise, I don't really make a lot of money on it. But I wanted to give it a couple weeks because I wanted to figure out how many stories I would get out of that as well. And that figured into the 20% uh, drop. You know, um, so 20% is it's kind of decent for a monthly drop. You know, for two weeks, it was 20% drop. But overall, for the month, I hit my target. Because I did a lot of that work before I left. So I worked really hard so I could be on vacation. And that's the key when you have a monthly target versus a weekly target. You can keep your eye on the month. So overall, I took a hit on the income. No doubt. It turned out okay. I had a lot of fun. Got to make sure the kid was set up properly. And uh, now I'm back home working again. Anyway, try to stay safe. I'm going to keep the uh, vacation beer for a little bit longer. And uh, who knows when I'm going to shave, to be honest with you. And uh, if you like this, please hit the like and share button. It's really important for YouTube. And uh, if you have any comments, please put them down below. And uh, talk to you next week.